right, we are headed uh, northeast on, I guess, what you call the main road or main trail out here. We just crossed over track 10. Well, we went through the gate and then went up um, the better part of the hill. Just crossed over track 10. Where it leveled out, and now it looks like we're going uphill again, uh, just slightly. And pretty soon we will be on track 7. And that's where we want to be. Seven, and the road um, just kind of crosses over the southeast corner of track seven is what this looks like and that is right where we are it's actually this little intersection here oh, uh, ran over the stick where the three roads come together this this appears to be right pretty much at the southeast corner of track seven I'll pull up here Now this is gorgeous. This might be the this might be the high point around here. Let me look at the topo map. Um, no, maybe I don't know. It's the high point for for this for this area for sure, where these three roads come together at the southeast corner of track seven, um, and then. This road keeps going northeasterly, goes to track eight. The other road will go southeasterly to 14. And, uh, okay, yeah. So we're at about, like I said, the southeast corner. Uh, as you go north and west or whatnot, you can see how the property slopes down, but I'm looking here, um, and just estimating, uh, as we look back that way, where it's still fairly level, I would think there's a good chance that you could get beyond the setback distance and still have, um, still have a, a nice little building site. The thing I see is potentially that the biggest bonus on track seven is the view you're going to have. So you've got access to the property, um, just with a, a truck or SUV and you're gonna have this sweeping view out here I'm excited uh, for this fall when the leaves come off the trees and we'll get a preview of that view and then if uh, if you're the the lucky owner of this property uh, you may consider thinning out some of the younger trees um, to open up the view because Wow <laughs> Look at the topo map and look at the drone video to, to really see what we mean about that view. But just the way this is situated, I would think you could you could open up a nice view of the river. Um, we might just have to wait until the leaves come off the trees to really see that. But but either way, you're going to have a, a stunning view, like a, at least a 180 degree view, I would think. This is nice. We've got some mature timber. Uh, the property looks like a mixture of timber. We've got younger stuff middle-aged <laughs> timber and uh, older stuff as well very nice property uh, check out the drone video I think we did a pretty good drone video on this one check out the maps and all that good stuff um, but yeah definitely check out the topo map and check out the drone video to to get an idea of the view on this one um, yeah even even if there's no river view um, there's gonna be that gorgeous valley uh, just to the east of the river. I mean, it, it's gonna be really pretty. You're bound to have some neat surprises on this. The topo map shows it actually levels out toward the north end. Um, you'd have to go down the slope to get there probably, but um, when you have that kind of hillside, you, you generally have some neat stuff, some rock formations or potentially some springs or caves or who knows. So come and check it out. That's track seven.